Well, between this video and the last video, a lot has happened. Um, we'll make another video with this boat. But uh, one, they did... Okay, first things first. Since the last video, I did not realize I had the graphics set wrong. So now the graphics look a lot better. There's still some issue. See that behind us? But it is a lot better looking. Even Especially up front where the waves splash. They don't look so weird anymore. Because they're see-through now. This is the Conquest. And I've done some fishing with her. Uh, pretty successful. We have a boat full of fish. Um, inventory. Uh, I'm going to say, I, I think I sold this already, but then I went back to an earlier save game. About 1.5. But what we're really doing tonight is we're going to take a look at the fisheries um, using the cargo boat and what it's for and the, the cool things that you can do with it. Um, I've got the bigger cargo ship that we're going to use. And uh, but the first fishing that I did with Flippy, I did four twenty-five or five thousand hook lines. Five thousand. That sounds right. And um, pulled in about three point three million dollars. Now they've since then they've kind of changed the pricing a little bit. So like right here, I have I have three. Um, 10,000 lines. Whatever the longest line that you can have is, I believe it's 10,000. And that's going to bring us about 1.6 million. So they've nerfed the pricing about half. They've also nerfed the fish farm pricing, but it's okay because uh, you can make a lot of money still. I think it's something like 12 million per, per 20,000 smolt. So I'll, I will get that going. You'll get to see that happen. Um, I'll be back. Other things I kind of wanted to touch base on as we drive into port here. Um, they have fixed the autopilot, so it sort of works now. It sometimes is a little bit tricky, but it seems to, like 60% of the time, be functional. So uh, I'll show you how to use that once we plot our course with the um, with Dr. Phil, which is what they called the, the bigger cargo ship. <laughs> Dr. Phil. Um... The other thing you need to know is we did try the fixer out. Now, the fixer is the um, fixing boat, and it's not really ready. The only thing you can do on it right now is um, whale whale watching. And so, uh, unfortunately, um, it's not good for doing anything else. However, the fixer, when it's fully upgraded, is so far the fastest boat in the fleet until you get the big rescue boat which i have not gotten yet so the largest boat that we have right now i haven't gotten but supposedly this thursday we're going to actually get three new boats so um oh and by the way i'm at the northern port now i moved cities um so there is a port up north which i like the layout better the gas is right there it's a much more sheltered cove you have a much like further way in to go so the ocean isn't like rippling and it's real fast to get in and out because there's not rocks everywhere so this seems to be the better of the two ports, and this one's up north. It's called Veroy. And so you can come up here and, and um, get better service for your boat. Plus, you have all these cranes available. It's good stuff. We're going to dock here and put this boat away. But uh, So there's some fixes coming. They've been working on the game pretty much every couple days. We've been here. Welcome to Veroy. Oh, that's new, actually. Uh, we've been getting new updates every day, every couple days. There's been like... At least all. Every two days, it seems like there's updates. And they're, they're, you know, little things. But some of them are big. So, all right. So, the first thing we need to do is we're done fishing. So, we're going to go sell the fish off. Now, the other thing I like about this is that the fishery is much closer to our everything else. So, here we're going to go. We have one, $2 million worth of fish. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. So, we have plenty of money to do what we're going to do. Uh, that means we need 500000 for one of the fisheries. And we need to outfit our boat. So we're going to go back here to um, the Veroy shipyard. And you can see here, um, we're going to switch over to our... You can do this with either boat. However, I prefer using the bigger boat because uh, for not, for <clears throat> the way that the smolt works is that you're going to get a smolt tank and you're going to buy 20,000 smolt. And then you're also going to need 4,000 pound bags of food. Um, now, while you can get them on the smaller boat, 
Um, I don't. First of all, you're not really supposed to put medium. Well, this yeah, this is for extra small and small cargo. You're not really supposed to put medium cargo on this boat. So, um, so you got to have this boat available anyway. But uh, Doctor Phil will carry bo- all four bags of fish food and the container for the smolt. So what we recommended, and this is from talking to different people on stream who have been playing it. Um, we're going to get the, um, the smaller smolt tank. You can get the big one, but the small one is really all you need. And you'll make about $12 million worth of smolt per week. So it takes seven or eight days for the fish to mature. And, um, I want this we're rigged. Okay. Uh, and so we're going to close that. And so we have that loaded on now and that's, that's all you got to do is put the small tank on and I'm going to go back out to the dock now from our storehouse. I'm going to go in here and we are going to buy smolt and I'm going to get, um, fill the container with salmon smolt. Yes. There we go. And so that should do it right there. And I think we checked out. That was that's it. So it's full. Uh, and then now we have to go over to the. Oh wait, is it here? I think it's here. We want to buy fish food. And so what you're going to do is you're going to buy. Of course, you got to buy the biggest bag. So you want the thousand pound bags of fish food, and we need four of them. One, two, three, four. That's all we actually can do because that's all the available place there is on the dock, the did dock. So there we go. And we're going to have to do some shuffling around with the boat to actually get it to um, load the cargo properly, but we can do this, so you'll see. Let's go on out here to go to the boat, and there she is sitting down, Dr. Phil. She's, he is down next to the dock over here. And so let's go ahead and you can see he's a little far up, so it's, uh, this is going to be difficult to load these in. Let's go ahead and hop on the boat. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, first of all, we're going to turn the lights on because it's going to be evening. <coughs> on the interior lights. Start her up. And I'm going to untie from the dock, and I'm just going to back up a bit. Not a ton, but as far back as I can until I can't dock. That's about as far back as we can go. And so we'll go ahead and leave the boat uh, running. By the way, this is Dr. Phil. <laughs> it's a really cool boat. Um, I really like this. It's probably, it reminds me, okay, so I, I grew up near Lake Erie. And for those of you that are familiar with Lake Erie, there's what they call the Erie Islands. Uh, by the way, you have to have a certification to run the small crane. I got the small crane certification. I'm going to work on some of the larger ones too, but um, for right now we got the small crane. Um so in and around Lake Erie are a series of islands just kind of in the middle of Ohio. Um, there's a, where Cedar Point is, there's an amusement park called Cedar Point, and that is on a peninsula. Um, and then you can take ferries from there and from also a little bit further on, a little further west, is a port called Marblehead. Uh, where there's a ferry boat. It takes about a half an hour to get over to, to Kelly's Island, which is my favorite of the islands. There's, I want to say there's five. There's Kelly's. There's North, North, South, and Middle Bass Islands. Kelly's Island, um, Putin Bay, Rattlesnake Island, and some of those might be the same island. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sure. But that, anyway, there's a, there's, a, there's a series of islands. Then there's also Pele, which is further north. Um, but, uh, the two that are the most inhabited are, um, Putin Bay where all the partying is. That's like, basically it's just an Island with a bunch of bars. Uh, and then you have Kelly's Island, which has like a little bit of bar life, but it also has like camping and it's a much larger Island. I think it's got like four, four or let's see that didn't let go crap four or six square miles of space. There we go. Oh, <laughs> put it down. The hook, the hooks. Nope, it needs to go in a little bit more. There we go. Put the. Okay, there we go. Uh, so it's four or six miles, something like that, and um, square miles. 
and like I said, there's camping and there's there's a quarry where we like to go monster trucking and like it's just it's a really nice relaxing island. Um, obviously surrounded by sorta sandy beaches, <laughs> but the Ohio State Campground has a nice beach, um, and it's just it's pretty. It's a it's a beautiful area, and I used to go up there as a kid all the time. Well, they have these ferry boats that service Kelly's Island. Um, there's one that runs every half an hour. And they look almost exactly like this, except for the cabin is off to the side. Oh, gosh. Kind of like the uh, Fixer. But it's they're much larger. So the, they're probably like five times the size of this boat. Crap, I pressed the wrong button. Sorry. I'll, I'll, I'm talking and I can't talk and crane at the same time. There we go. And we just got the one more. Now, in real life, you'd kind of want to load balance a little bit. But I don't really care. Because in real life, this would make the boat, like, tippy. <laughs> but the game doesn't really seem to, at least yet, it doesn't seem to mind. There we go. Okay, so we've loaded the boat. We're going to exit our crane. Make sure you move this. You actually will hit that with the boat, so be careful. <laughs> and we can head on out. If I can actually get off the dock and into the boat. There we go. There, now we're on the boat. I love the way we have this little rug. There's really very little seating in the boat. You could probably sit back on these, but not very, not a very comfortable vessel. But it's all, all work and no play. All right, so I'm going to break the dock tie. And we're going to slowly go forward and hopefully not hit the dock. I do... This boat's pretty fragile, and it is really easy to hit the dock. We're going to let people know we're leaving. There we go, and we're free of the dock. Let's go ahead and swing her around. And off we go. And she, it's a twin-engine boat. So you're going to need some money to upgrade this one because you're going to need two propellers and you're going to need two motors or engines to um, get this boat upgraded all the way. But she holds 14 and a half knots approximately at full speed. And that's a pretty good speed for a boat this size. I'll take a look from the outside. There's Dr. Phil. Leaving port. And she's a lovely ship. So I'm going to go ahead and set the autopilot. So what we do is we're going to go on to here and we're going to put a flag here, here. And then I'm going to put one here. Oops. Here and then here. And then we're going to go back into the cabin. And you're going to zoom in on this and press E on the power button. And there she goes. Now she is going to follow the flags that we set. And the reason why I set her like that is because I want to go out and around. Um, we're going to take a look here at the route that I picked. Yep. It's going to turn in a second to the right. There we go. And this is all autopilot. I'm not doing this. The boat's steering itself. So this is a really nice new feature now that we are actually able to let the boat steer itself. Just be careful in and around the rocks that you give it, you know, it's going to rock back and forth here for a little bit until it gets on course. Uh, and then we're going to go out here and then we're going to come back around because the, the fishery where these little uh, smolt tanks are is right about here. And I want to get us right to there. And then we need to make sure you take over because the boat will start going in circles when it reaches the end of its course. So even though we can leave it for all of this portion and let it do its thing, when you get here, you need to make sure you're there or the boat will start going in circles and whack into one of these islands. So be very careful when you're route planning. Really, you probably would be better off. In fact, I'm going to do this just for safety. I'm going to remove these nodes. And I'm going to let the boat stop here and it'll circle in this area. All right, so we're off. Sun's going down, unfortunately, <laughs> but it is what it is. And so we're going to take it out and we're going to be working at night. Um, beautiful sunset. 
Skies are getting better as the game goes. They're working on that. The weather transitions are still kind of rough. Um, it'll just all of a sudden be raining, and then it'll all of a sudden be sunny, and then it'll be foggy. But um, they're getting better at that. So I'm going to head over there. I will see you guys in just a fortnight. All right, I've reached my end station, and we are spinning in circles. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop driving the boat. I'm just going to let it go continually. Uh, we're going to turn this off, and I'm going to shut the throttle down until I figure out where I'm at. All right. Speed it back up again. And basically what we're doing is we're going to just scoot down this channel. And straight ahead of us is where the fish farm is. I just know this because I've been here before. It's hard to see in the dark, but you won't see it yet. Um, uh, that's fighting me. I turned, I turned the autopilot off, but st stop it. <laughs> off. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Anyway, and the boat's still turning. Uh, okay, are we, are we done? Okay, good. Thankfully, it's calm out. So we're going to head this way. We've got the searchlight on. i got the work lights off. We'll turn them on when we get there. But we're going to head this way, and I'm just going to have to be real careful because it's dark. <laughs> no, duh. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the searchlight up a little bit so it's like more on what's in front of us. There we go. And so I'm going to continue on. I'll be back when I get there, but I just want to let you know, I can kind of sort of see what I think. Those are rocks. I was going to say, that's the fishery, but it's not. I think they're back over here. Like, probably pretty much like a right over this way. But they're down this channel, so I'm, as long as I follow this blue on the map, where you can see where I'm turning to the right here, following the blue channel, that's where we'll end up getting to them. So I'll let you know as soon as I see them. All right, so they are off to our left. Um, so you can see the channel goes this way and then swings this way. So we're heading right towards the island, but you can see over here, there's our fish farms over to the left. I don't know if that's real clear on the video, but I can see them in real life, in real fake life. So I'm turning towards them here, and i am got the bow of the ship towards them now. So I'm going to get over there, and I will be right back when I get there. And we are slowing it down. And I'm just going to buy this one on the end because it's the easiest one to get to. We're going to slow it way down. I'm going to see if I can dock this way. It'd be nice to be able to dock. In real life, you could dock this boat to the front. Probably be easiest to get in and out that way, but it may make us dock to the side too. We'll see. Sometimes it says you have to be parallel. So we'll get parallel if we need to. <laughs> the exciting part. <sighs> Must be parallel. Yeah, unfortunately, you've got to be parallel, so... What I'll probably do is I'll probably go... This is funny because the boats all seem to back turn when they're going backwards easier. So I'm going to scoot past it a little bit. And then we'll back into position. I love the sounds this boat makes, though. It still sounds just like the Kelly's Island Ferry. Like that generator hum. Okay, so we have docked and we are here. So let's go ahead and I'm going to turn the lights on, shut the engine off, let everybody know I've arrived. <laughs> you don't have to do that. And we're going to hop off the boat. Yeah, I got off. Okay. Uh, so here we are on the dock, and I do want to bring the boat a little bit closer. So we're going to, but we're going to suck it in. Doesn't really matter. But you don't want to go in too close because last time I loaded, be careful when you save your game this way because if you pull the boat all the way in, when you come back, the boat will actually be sitting on this, and so you'll be skunked. Um, all right, so we're going to go ahead and press E to purchase the fish farm. That's 500,000 krona, which is about 
$50,000 US. It's not too crazy. Let's go ahead and open the console. And we're going to add all the fish. So now we have 20,000 fish in there. You can put more in, but 20,000. I think maybe, I don't, I'm not sure how that works. If you can put more in or if you have to spread them out. I don't know. Anyway, so we have no food and the engine is off. Um, so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to grab a bag of food. So this is where it sucks. You have to you have to press each bag. It says see it says E pick up fifty kilograms. There's a thousand in here. So I have to do this twenty times to each bag. I gotta pick up a bag, I gotta go on the dock. I've gotta come over here to the ladder, climb the ladder, look at the top, and press E to add the fish food. Go back down, go back to the boat, press E on the bag, press E on the dock. <laughs> e on the ladder, put that in. Go back down the thing. You have to do this over and over and over and over until all the bags are gone. So we got to do it uh, about 100 times, right? Let's, let me think about this. 80 times? Yeah. Let's go ahead and turn the motor on, by the way. Now that we got food in there, we got it primed. Turn the engine or the motor on. And so it's going to... I'm not sure what that does, except for maybe makes a... It probably makes a current because... Salmon in real life, you know, they live on like at the top of rivers and stuff like that, or they swim upstream. Well, they go in the ocean too, but um, they like, especially when they're young, they like to swim all the time. They just constantly swim. And so it's their nature to be in a current. They're, they're like river fish and they like to, to be in a current. So that engine spins and it gets the, them uh, swimming. Now, the funny thing about all of this is you can actually break. The nets will wear out. Uh, this engine will wear out. And I think there's one other. There's like a, an impeller that they use to spin the fish or to spin the water. Um, well, not to spin it, but to, to make the water move. And uh, that can go bad also. So there is some maintenance that will need to be done on these fisheries. And if you have the fixer boat, you can use that to get out here quickly because it's like 17 knots or whatever. It moves faster. Um so you will need to maintain them. However, in the testing that we've done so far between my friends and the group and I, nobody's had anything break yet. So uh, I don't know if it's something that happens like way down the road or if it's something that, you know, um, is just not implemented yet uh, because they haven't gotten that far into the game. So, but like I said, they they keep adding new stuff. So we'll probably see this stuff come in pretty quick. Um So I do like the hands-on aspect of this game. This is kind of annoying. It's like there's a couple things that they... Like, like the fish whacking, it's, <laughs> I'm getting better at it. In fact, last night I had a streak where I got like eight fish in a row. That was part of our $2 million haul. Um, it was a beautiful night. I just turned the engine off because I looked at it. Turn on the engine. There we go. Should, the handle should be down. Um, so anyway, I'm going to get this done. I will see you guys once it's finished. One thing I wanted to talk about, just so you're aware of it too. When you get the larger cargo boat, like you saw us loading the, the, um, the medium cargo on there, you actually can start getting medium cargo missions where you do need the crane. So I was doing the small boat. You guys remember way back in my first video when I did the small boat and I'm like, what, why are there no crane missions? Well, you have to get the medium boat to get the crane unlocked. So, uh, but the other thing that happens is there's every couple of days missions will occur at other docks. So, uh, where I was complaining when we did the first boat and I'm like, ah, you can only get missions from the main area like the main city and here there's two places where you can get those small missions. Once you unlock the medium missions, you can actually like, let's say I go from here from Veroy over to, um, Scom Scomvar down in the bottom in the South. Well, chances are Scomvar will also have a, a cargo going somewhere else on the way back. So you can kind of bounce around from, from port to port, taking cargo, different places. It's all the same cargo right now. It just looks like, like wood planks. Uh, but but it's better than nothing. But if you look at the map here, and I just want to show you this. If I go to, like, um, let's see, Masted, there's nothing there. Um, nope, I want to just move. Is there anything at Teast? No. I might not. I, it might be because I'm not rigged for cargo right now. I'm rigged for the, the smelt. But what will happen is uh, if you take, I think you have to take the smelt tank off, and then you're considered rigged for cargo again. Uh, and you can, but you'll see at these different ports where you deliver, like here, you'll actually see a, a symbol with four cargo on it. And that means you can go there 
and that you click on it on the map and it'll say, Hey, you've accepted the mission. And then you take your boat there and you pick it up. But if you're already there, then the cargo will just appear and you load it onto your boat. So I just want to let you guys know that you, this, this nice, the nice thing about this boat is it's pretty flexible. You can use it for your fish farm, which is what we're doing now. But you can also, once you're done doing that, you can take that smolt tank out by unrigging it. It doesn't cost you anything to do it. You just go back to the, to the shop and unrig it. And then you can um, deliver cargo for seven, six or seven days. You could also go out and go fishing. Um, but it gives you things to do while these smolt are, are growing. Um, so once again, if, if, if I were you, once I got this all fed, I'd head back to port and start some other missions and let the seven days pass by. I'm not going to do that on this. We're going to just sit here and pass the seven days. I'm going to keep an eye on the fish and let you guys know if anything cool happens. And, uh, and then we will go ahead and sell them at the end of the week and see how much we make. So um, anyway, I'll be back. So I've got my camping gear, I got my backpack, I got my carbonated soda in a bag, and I'm going to camp out here on, for the next seven days. I'm going to live on this rig and get these fish growed. I guess there's really no difference between seven and eight, and then you can sell them whenever you want, but you want to wait till they're old, until they're, gro until they're old and growed. We've got 4,000 food available. Let's go ahead and get this party started. You simply do that by going to the clock. And I, once again, if I were you, I'd be doing missions and stuff. I would not be doing just this. <laughs> We're going to rest for so 24 hours is the max probably. Yep. Oh, look, and on the map, there's a cargo mission available close by. Masted? Oh, no, there. That's just like I told you. There's the cargo mission. We could run and do that. This is going from Teast. To masted, masted. So masted, masted. It's going to go down and around to here. So, yeah. I'm not going to do that, though. We're just going to wait. Oh, it's raining. It's snowing. Let's check our fish and see how they're doing today. I promise you I won't do every day. <laughs> Distribution, there's still one kilogram. They've eaten some food. Everything's okay. Cool. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. I'm going to keep doing that. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Oh, bleh. don't hit the dock. Oh, oh, wow. There goes all the salmon. They go floating away. I think we're just not going to look today. I'm just going to skip to the next day. Oh, my gosh. Oof. That is some big wavage. Oh, wow. I haven't seen a thunder. Let's still watch for just a second because I haven't, I haven't seen a thunderstorm yet. That's crazy. Look at these swells, and we're not even out in the open water. Too bad it's not overcast, but still, it's that's pretty slick. The sound is really good. Wow. All right, fast forward to the next day and see what we get. Hopefully better weather. So we should be on day three. Let's check it out. I promised you I wouldn't, but all right. Day three, our distribution, three kilograms. So, yep. Sweet. 67,000 altogether. Still got 2,500 food. I don't know. They might start running out of food if they're, if they're consuming a thousand. It's one, two, three more days. It's going to be really close. I'll be back. So four bags wasn't enough. It's going to have to be five bags. <laughs> wow okay because there's there's 1500 left and that would give us another thousand uh you might need two more bags day five because you're gonna have day six we'll have zero left because there's 1500 in there we need 1500 for tomorrow and then day seven they need to eat two so you'd actually need three thousand more so it's a thousand a bag god so you really need to bring at least three more bags um and then there'll be some extra left over for the next round, but we're going to have to go back. So, unfortunately, that means that I'm going to have to cut loose here and go over back to the dock. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get the boat all lit up. And start our journey back.
get out of there. There we go. Come around this island. Oh no, the fog is building up. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of that food. I'll be back shortly. All right. I've arrived with a damaged ship I bonked into the wharf when I was leaving. Uh, I was able to load four packages. I'm or, sorry, eight packages of fish food on the boat. <laughs> so I'm going to put extra food in there just so that there's extra. Um, that way we have for the next round, I, I can get started with having food in there already. But I wanted to prove a point that you could load eight packages if you needed to, or six pack. Seems like it'd probably take about six and a half packages um, to do it right. Uh, so maybe six packages, something like that. So we put four in there, and we're going to run out. So I'd say five, five or six, really. So we're docked. Shut the engine off, and we're going to get to work. And this is not going to be very exciting. I got to continue feeding the fish. Um, anyway, I was sad that I whacked the dock, but what are you going to do? Let's see how much was in there. Uh, I just want to check and make sure that we had food and that we did the fish didn't go hungry. Nope. Still day five, still plenty of food available. So I'm going to go ahead and load this up, but we're so just know that you're probably going to need, you know, you probably 1500 the last two days. I'm going to say at uh, you need probably seven bags to be safe. Maybe. Maybe six, but uh, if you want to fill it up for the whole thing, you want to bring probably, I would say just bring seven bags with you. If you got a little bit left over, it's not going to hurt anything, obviously, but it's this is like, oh Lord. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do the loading game. I'll probably be like an hour. <laughs> it's not going to take that long, but it takes a long time to do this. So anyway, I'm going to work on this and I'll be back. So yeah, that took almost. 40 minutes <laughs> I think let me see 621 I'm not sure what time I paused but it took me a long time to do that <laughs> golly it might be the next day now we're still on day five so we got 9,000 liters of fish let's go ahead and get these fish fed up my goodness that took forever all right next day time advance 24 hours and we'll be in day six Take a look real quick. Oh, we're day seven. Still eight thousand liters in, so we can we can get rid of these fish and the sell price. There's, they were saying there's really not much of a difference. Yeah, about twelve point nine million dollars. <laughs> ah. And so let's go ahead. We got twenty thousand uh, salmon that are ready to sell. And once again, I think they said day eight doesn't make a difference. You just use more food. So let's go ahead and sell them. I'm happy with that. $14 million. And this is after they nerfed it. So, holy cow. But it costs a lot of money to get into it. But you're you're silly if you don't do this. Even if you go do other stuff while this is fermenting. But I would suggest putting in probably, yeah, eight bags of food, seven bags of food. Um, and I'm probably going to get more and put them in when I deliver more smolt so that it's in there. Um, and you could do 100,000 smolt in this, which would be, well, 14 times 5, whatever that is, or 12 times 5. So let's just say 10 times 5 is 50 million, so you'd be at like 60, $64 million, yeah. That was pretty cool. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, we made a ton of money. I got I to take my damaged boat home and get it fixed. But yeah, be prepared to do getting a cramp in your hand from loading those stupid bags because that's what's going to happen. You're going to have to do it. But it is worth it in the long run because you're making bazillions of dollars, millions of dollars. And um, so that was a lot of fun. Have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. And I will see you guys for the next exciting video of Ships at Sea. And we'll see you next time. Have a great night. Bye.